Rod Martin jumping in here. Vicky is a PC user and I am a Mac user. So in this video we're going to show you how to install Joomla 3 on a local host. The first thing we need to do is go and get MAMP. Now if you've been around OS training for a while you probably already have MAMP installed. But if you don't, go ahead and click on the download link. And then download MAMP and MAMP Pro 2.11. Now we won't be using MAMP Pro, just using MAMP, because MAMP Pro is something you have to pay for. So click that, and then we'll come back when that's finished downloading. It's about 134 meg, so it may take you a few minutes. Once MAMP is downloaded, go ahead and unzip that file, and you'll see the MAMP.pkg, or the package. Go ahead and double click on that, and then follow all the directions to install MAMP. Now, I already have MAMP installed on my system. Just go ahead and click Continue, Continue, Continue. You know how to install a Mac program by now, I'm sure, and finish that up. Once that's done, go ahead and launch MAMP from your Applications folder. Once MAMP is turned on, there's just a couple of things we need to do before we can continue. MAMP sets up an Apache server and a MySQL server. And I like to change just a couple of preferences. The Start Stop tab is usually pretty much set, so I don't change anything there. On the Ports tab, the Apache port is 8888 and the MySQL port is 8889. Again, I don't change anything there just so I make sure I don't interfere with anything else on my Mac. Now here on the PHP tab, however, we do need to change some things. While Joomla does run on 5.2.17, it does require at minimum a 5.2.4, and so many extension developers now are creating their extensions for PHP 5.3 and above. So go ahead and change your PHP to 5.3.6. And then finally on the Apache tab, I like to use my own sites directory for my document root. MAMP sets it up in its own applications folder. I find that difficult to find at times. Sites folder is right there. It's where I keep everything. So go ahead, if you want, and just change that to your sites folder. Once you've made those changes, go ahead and stop your servers and restart your servers. When we click on open the start page, we're given all of the information about our current MAMP installation. There's only one more thing we need to change, and that's in our PHP settings. If you click on PHP Info, you'll notice that the configuration file is in application slash MAMP slash bin slash PHP slash PHP 5.3.6 slash config slash PHP.ini file. You'll need to know where that is because we need to make a quick edit. So go ahead and just take a note of that, and then do a quick search for the word magic. And you'll see here, I've already updated it, but if you look at yours, magic quotes underscore GPC is probably turned on. It needs to be turned off. Joomla won't install with that error. So we need to edit that file, the PHP any file, in that location. Go ahead and open that folder on your desktop and right click on php.ini and open it with a text editor or an HTML editor, not pages or Word or anything like that. I like to use either Text Wrangler, BB Edit, or my personal favorite is Coded 2, but Text Wrangler is free, and so we're going to open that file in Text Wrangler and add a couple of lines. Scroll down to about line 378, and you should see the word Magic Quotes. Go ahead and add those four lines to your php.ini file. The most important one is magic underscore quotes underscore GPC equals off. Go ahead and save that file. Once you save that file, you need to stop and start your servers again. So go ahead and click stop server and then start servers. Wait till the servers are start and then click Open Start Page. So that's step number one. Download MAMP and update your PHP.ini configuration. The next step, of course, we need to go and get Joomla. So head over to Joomla.org and click the download link. 
you'll notice that Joomla is already on 3.0.1. Go ahead and click Save That File. Won't take long to download. Once it's downloaded, go ahead and move that download into your Sites folder. Go ahead and double click on the zip package to unzip it. And I just re usually rename these to something a whole lot more easy. So I'm just going to call this J3. All right, so that was step two. Step three is the database. As we know, Joomla runs on a MySQLi database, and you have to set one of those up. So go back to the home page, click on phpMyAdmin, and go ahead and create a new database. I'm going to call mine J3OST, and that's all I need to do here. That's step three. Step four, then, let's go ahead and finally install Joomla. Go back over to your start page. Note the username and password for your database is root and root, and of course that's completely insecure and you'd never ever use that on a real system. So go ahead and get rid of everything after the 8888 slash and go to your directory that you created. And here's the Joomla installation screen. I can change the site name, give it a description. I can even say that the site is automatically offline when the installation is finished. Add my email, an administrator username, which shouldn't be admin by the way, and a password. Let me just remind you, always, always, always use strong passwords. We can change our language here, and now click Next. Notice that the database type is MySQLi, hostname localhost, username is root, and password is root. And I just need to put in my database name, J3OST, which is what I created just a few moments ago. I can change the table prefix here. Notice that it's no longer JOS from Joomla 1.5. I can install some sample data, and there's a number of options now. Blog in English, brochure, the default English sample data, a way to learn Joomla sample data, and then just some test sample data. I'm going to install the blog. Joomla installation now allows me to email the configuration.php file to myself. So I have all of the settings that I set up here. And when I click on the Yes button, it also asks me if I want to include passwords in the email. Eh, that's probably not a good idea, so I'm going to leave that at No. And then all of the overview and pre-installation check for my Joomla installation. Notice all of the checks are in green, and so are the recommended settings. That's really important. There's that Magic Quotes GPC that we turned off earlier, and our PHP version is greater than 5.3.1. All of these need to be green. If they're not, you'll need to go back, fix them, and then come back in and try your Joomla installation again. Go ahead and click Install. And Joomla takes just a few moments to build the table structure, install the sample data, can create the configuration file, and we're done. We always have to remove the installation folder, and once that's done, we can go straight to the site or the administrator area of our new website. And that's how easy it is.